Good evening. I'd like to call the North Royal Village Board meeting for Monday, August 16th, 2021 to order. Uh, please join me in a silent prayer and meditation. Okay, thank you. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Or call the roll, please. Mayor Gafino? Here. Trustee Carroll? Here. Trustee Gately? Here. Trustee Lowry? Here. Trustee Nedgevich? Here. Trustee Salazar? Here. All right, thank you. I want to open up the public hearing for the Fourth Amendment of the pre annexation agreement between the Village of North Aurora, Orchard Commons LLC, and Metal Investment Partnership for Development to be known as Orchard Commons. Anyone here to speak? Yeah, for that. All right, I'll close the public hearing for that. Uh, any audience comments? None? Okay, uh, consent agenda. Move to approve. Second. Other discussion? Call the roll, please. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. Trustee Nedgevedge? Yes. Trustee Salazar? Yes. Trustee Carroll? Yes. All right, thank you. Under new business, item one, Bill. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Item number one is an ordinance approving the second budget amendment for fiscal year 2020-21. Um, for a little uh, background, uh, the board may recall back in March when we were discussing budget projections uh, and discussing how revenues exceeded uh, the modified budget that we had in place, uh, we agreed to increase our transfer to the capital projects fund from 200,000 to 2.5 million. Uh, that transfer was made um, a few months ago. And as we've been wrapping up our audit, <clears throat> um, for also the uh, final sales tax numbers have come in. And for sales tax revenue that's generated in March, April, and May, we received that on a three month lag basis in June, July, and August. So in August last week, we received our final sales tax numbers for transaction activity for May. And that three month period wound up being um, significantly more than the prior three month period of 2020. Uh, when you combine the 1% sales tax and our 3% cannabis tax, that three month period was $1,873,000, which was $712,000 <clears> more than last year for that same three month period. Um, so typically we don't uh, worry about you know, minor adjustments and fluctuations when we're accruing revenues to the prior year and we're finalizing our um, financial statements. But given that the amount for various reasons was um, so much more, we decided to propose this sort of last minute amendment to the prior year, which would transfer an additional $750,000 to the capital projects fund from the general fund. The final amount might be a little bit less than that based on some of our final adjustments and accruals. Um, but that is the budget amendment that we're proposing um, at this time. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Well, that's certainly excellent news. Yeah, uh, very good. We'll, we'll take that extra. Yeah, it'll, it'll definitely help our fund our future capital projects. Yes, awesome. Clerk, right. call the roll, please. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. Trustee Nedgevedge? Yes. Trustee Salazar? Yes. All right, thank you. Item two, Mike. Yeah, thank you, Mayor. Items uh, two and three are associated with the Orchard Commons development uh, located at the northwest corner of Oak and, or excuse me, Oak and Orchard. Uh, if you remember, call this is lot two and lot one and two of Orchard Commons being resubdivided into lot one, two, three, and four of the Orchard Acre subdivision uh, to accommodate the restaurants and retail uses that are being proposed. Uh, this item came before the Planning Commission at a public hearing on July 6th with the recommendation. Uh, the village board discussed it on July 19th at the Community of the Whole. And again, we discussed the facades at the last board meeting on August 2nd. Um, and I'm here and the petitioners here to answer any questions you might have. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? So with that, I'll go ahead and uh, read, I'll go ahead and read each ordinance at this point in time. 
Uh, the first one is the uh, ordinance that was associated with the public hearing. It's the ordinance approving the Fourth Amendment to the pre-annexation agreement between the Village of North Aurora, Orchard Commons LLC, and Metal Investment Partnership for development to be known as Orchard Commons. Discussion? Clerk, call the roll, please. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. Trustee Nedgeveg? Yes. Trustee Salazar? Yes. Trustee Carroll? Yes. All right, thank you. Item three? Yeah, and item number three is the ordinance amending the special use, uh, which is amending the underlying um, Orchard Commons B2 District PUD. Motion approved. Second. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. Trustee Nudgevedge? Yes. Trustee Salazar? Yes. All right, thank you. Item four, Mike? Yeah, thank you, Mayor. Item four is an ordinance approving a special use as an I-2 general industrial district plan unit development for the 16 acres of land, uh, which are known as 840 Ice Cream Drive. Uh, this is the industrial PUD development uh, being proposed at the northeast corner of Randall and Ice Cream Drive. Uh, this item was before the plan commission on July 6th with the favorable recommendation uh, was before the committee of the whole on July 19th. Okay, motion to approve. Second. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Trustee Lowry? Yes. Trustee Nedgevich? Yes. Trustee Salazar? Yes. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. All right, thank you. Item five, Steve. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Item number five tonight is the creation of a new liquor license category for park districts. I was reviewed at the Committee of the Whole at the last meeting. Uh, since then, the, there was some feedback regarding um, holding events at Lippold and Red Oak specifically and whether third parties would ever want to use those sites. Um, the board was generally happy with the, the license category as created, but we did add a line that says that should the park district ever give a third party approval to use their facilities, that the third party would have to follow our special use liquor license provisions, which requires someone to have a state issued uh, liquor license to serve. Motion to approve. Second. Okay. Discussion? <laughs> we'll call the roll, please. Trustee Salazar? Yes. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. Trustee Nedgevich? Yes. All right, thank you. Item six, Steve. Thank you. Item six is uh, an approval of an ordinance for outdoor dining to be extended. Uh, essentially what this does is it takes our two executive orders pertaining to outdoor dining and it essentially ends those by superseding it with, with this new ordinance that is a, essentially an amendment to our temper. It's a temporary special event is what we're calling it, allowing people to have outdoor dining uh, through January 1st. So it ends on January 2nd, 2022. And we've adopted uh, almost all the same provisions that are current in place are adopted as part of this ordinance. Motion to approve. approve. Second. Discussion? Clerk, call the roll, please. Trustee Nedgevich? Yes. Trustee Salazar? Yes. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. All right. Thank you. Item seven, Jim. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> this item is the uh, award of a tree replacement program bid to Acres Group in the amount of $30,225. Um, this project was advertised on July 26th, and at the same time, the documents were posted to the website. We directly emailed 11 other landscaping companies. And based on the feedback that we could see off the, the website, eight of those companies um, or six of those companies downloaded the documents. We did only receive one bid and it's unclear necessarily why the other five did not submit bids to us. Um, speculation could lead us to think that the, the prices prepared by acres are just extremely competitive and the competitors recognize that from previous bid tabs that they can see online. Um, regardless, the prices that acres submitted were only $20 higher than last year's prices. So we think it's an excellent um, price that we're still getting. So the village or the public works department is recommending the approval of the uh, contract in the amount of $30,225. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? Clerk, call the roll, please. Trustee Nedgevich? Yes. Trustee Salazar? Yes. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. 
All right, thank you. Uh, Village President Report, I have nothing. Trustee comments? Administrator Report? Yes, Mr. Mayor, I was looking to see if our plan commission uh, person that we were going to honor was online. It, I, there might be, there was one that we couldn't tell who it was, but I don't see her name on there. Okay, thank you. Village Department Reports? I would just like to uh, add that we have went out to um, notification for the request for qualifications for the public works facility. And so the deadline for submission of those statements of qualifications by those architects and engineers firms were received today. The deadline was 4 p.m. and did, we did get um, 12 companies interested in our project. So that was a good number and staff's going to be going over those later in the week and hopefully we can narrow it down and see who we want to interview. Great, awesome. thank you. Yeah, we actually got a permit submittal today uh, regarding the Orchard Commons development, which was approved on, on tonight's board agenda. So um, it was for the what, building four, which is the Starbucks building. So we actually have a permit in our hand right now. So I know we had one come in in 2017 that never came about, but uh, we do have a permit uh, in our office already. Fantastic, that's good, thank you. Anybody else? Okay, motion to adjourn. Motion so to adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, we'll be meeting for committee at whole shortly. Thank you.